Today, we're talking about the different types of art collectors and how they vary in terms of the level of involvement and investment they choose to make. If you're an art lover and you're trying to understand where you fit in this world of collecting, this video is for you. But even if you're an artist trying to gain an understanding of your audience, this is also a good place to start. We'll be exploring the different types of collectors, from casual to serious, and introducing a type of collector that falls in the middle, the enthusiast collector. Let's do it. What's up, y'all? I'm Mariah Lees, and this is Dear Glory, a channel dedicated to providing insightful and informative content on the art world. We explore various topics, including tips on career advancement for visual artists, current trends in the art market, and strategies for collectors to enhance their collecting journey. If you're watching this channel, you might be on the same journey that I'm on. To find glory within the arts, this is an open letter of my shared experiences and knowledge to finding glory in the art world. This is Dear Glory. I want to start with a casual collector who falls on the end of the spectrum. Casual collectors often have a more relaxed approach to art collecting and may not have a deep understanding of the art world. They may purchase art as an investment, maybe, or simply because they enjoy it and find it aesthetically pleasing, but they do not necessarily have a specific collecting focus or strategy. They may not actively participate in the art world beyond buying and displaying the art in their homes or offices. They may not attend art fairs or visit galleries or even have relationships with the artists, the gallerists or other art world professionals. They may not have a deep understanding of the art historical and cultural context of the art that they collect. You'll come to find that casual collectors often rely on their personal taste and preferences when they're purchasing art and may not have a lot of knowledge about the artists or the art market. However, they can still enjoy the beauty and the value of the art that they collect, and it can bring them joy and pleasure in their daily lives. I encounter folks like this often, and the mistakes I've made in the past as I've tried to develop relationships with them is I tried to fit them in the mold of a serious collector, and that's just not who they were. Overall, the casual collector approach is less formal, less structural than a serious collector, and it allows for a more relaxed and collecting experience. Whether you are a casual or a serious collector, the most important thing is to collect what you love and enjoy the journey of discovering, learning, and collecting art. Now, I really want to take a moment to personify the casual collector. You may have Derek who buys a painting for his home office because he likes the colors and the design, but has no intention of building a collection or studying the art world. That's the casual collector. Or we might have Rachel, who purchases art as a gift for friends or family members, but has no personal interest in the art or the artists themselves. They may both even raise their eyebrow at the idea of the art's value, but they won't spend much time on it. Now let's talk about the collector who is really enthusiastic, and let's call them the enthusiast collector. The enthusiast collector is someone who has a strong interest in and a passion for art, but they may not have the level of involvement or the commitment of the series collector. They have a good appreciation for the art and its value, but their primary motivation is usually their personal enjoyment of collecting. They have a general understanding of the art world and may have a specific collecting focus or theme, but they may not have a deep understanding of the art historical or cultural context. The enthusiast collector is dedicated to finding and acquiring art that they love, but they may not have a large collection or a long-term vision for their collection. They attend art fairs and they visit galleries, but they may not be actively involved in the art market. They have a good balance between their personal enjoyment of art and their investment goals and enjoy learning about art in the art world, but they do not feel the need to have a deep understanding of every single aspect of it. Enthusiast collectors often invest more time and money into their collection and may have a more diverse collection that showcases their knowledge and interest in the art world in comparison to the casual collector. They may also be actively involved in the art market, attending art fairs and building relationships with artists, galleries, and other people in the art professions. In conclusion, the enthusiast collector is a type of collector that falls in the middle of the spectrum, having a good balance between their personal enjoyment of art and investment goals, and a deeper interest in the art world than the casual collector, but not the level of involvement and commitment of the serious collector. Now, look, before we go any further, I just want to go ahead and thank you all for being a part of this community and sticking with me. We're learning and we're growing together. I'll share my knowledge and insights in return. I hope to hear your thoughts and your opinions 
in the comments. So hit the subscribe button and let's continue to explore the art world together. Now I want to attach the enthusiast to a character and we're going to call her Liz. Okay. So Liz has a passion for contemporary art and visits galleries and art fairs regularly to see new works and meet artists. She she has a small collection of works by emerging artists, but she's not really yet an expert in the field. Maybe we even have Thomas, who has been keen in the modern art and has taken courses and has read books to deepen his knowledge. He has a more focused collection and attends exhibitions and events to stay informed about the art world. That's the enthusiast. Now let's get into the series collector, who is my favorite type of collector on some days. The one this collector is far, far away on the complete opposite side end of the spectrum than the casual collector. The serious collector has a deep understanding of the art world and have a specific collective focus and strategy. They have a high level of involvement in the art world and are actively involved in the art market, attending art fairs, visiting galleries, and building relationships with artists, galleries, and other art world professionals. They have a complete deep understanding of the art historical and cultural context of the art that they collect. This knowledge enables them to make informed purchasing decisions and build a collection that reflects their specific interests and goals. They may focus on a particular artist, an art movement, a period, or a theme. They often have a long-term vision for their collection. Serious collectors also have a strong commitment to philanthropy and may actively engage in endeavors related to the arts, such as supporting museums, artist-run centers, and other art-related nonprofits. They view their collections not only as a personal asset, but also as contributions to the wider cultural community. In terms of investing, serious collectors often have a long-term perspective and understanding that the value of their collections may increase over time. However, their primary motivation is usually not solely financial, but rather a love for the art and the desire to build a meaningful collection. In summary, I would say the serious collector's approach is more structured and more formal than the casual collector, and it requires a higher level of knowledge involvement and commitment so whether you are a casual or a serious collector again the most important thing is to collect what you love now the three main differences between the enthusiast collector the serious collector and the casual collector is one the involvement and the investment in the art world enthusiast collectors are more invested in the art world than the casual collectors but not as involved as a serious collector who has a deep understanding of the art world and actively engages with it. Number two, knowledge and understanding of the art world. Enthusiast collectors have a general understanding of the art world, but serious collectors have a deep understanding of the art historical and cultural context of the art that they're collecting. Number three, collection size and focus. Enthusiast collectors may have a relatively smaller collection compared to a serious collector who may have built a larger and a more diverse collection that showcases their knowledge and interest in the art world. Enthusiast collectors may have a collecting focus or a strategy, but serious collectors have a specific collecting focus and strategy that reflects their deep understanding of the art that they are collecting. Now, our serious collector is Lexi. Lexi has a deep understanding of the art market and has been collecting art for years. She has a large collection of contemporary art with a focus on a particular movement. And she's well connected in the art world. All right, lastly, we have Eliza, who has a passion for Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings. She has an extensive knowledge of the art historical context and is a frequent attendee of auctions, exhibitions, where she's purchasing work by the artists that she loves and that she truly understands their work. Now, whether you're a casual collector, an enthusiast, or a serious collector, I hope you found this information useful and enjoyable. Art collecting, it's a beautiful journey and I'm incredibly honored to be a part of yours. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more art related content. Until next time, keep exploring and discovering the world of art and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on any of my future videos. By subscribing to Dear Glory with Mariah Elise, not only will you stay up to date with my latest content, but you'll also be supporting the mission to educate and inspire others about the world. Now y'all stay safe. Until next time, peace.